Hello guys, there are two for Stan here in Twitter. I'm making a video on what I got for Christmas. Here it is. I got a HP Stream 7 tablet with Windows 8.1 on it. And it's pretty cool. It does so many cool things. It even has a camera. So it can make better than same pictures with it. It's pretty good quality. Yeah, I have a case on it. So I got this case along with the tablet. Okay, now let's turn it on. And then those booty knobs. Now we have the lock screen. Just a minute, I want to type in my password. I will log in in now. Now we are with nine Windows eight. You can see all the styles here. This is a start screen, and this is what many people don't have about Windows 8. Some people are very confused by using it because of this start screen and those and those two control panels on it. I think Windows 8 is good on a tablet. That's what many people say. It's good as a tower operating system, not a, not a desktop operating system. Here we have it. It's, see all these icons here, this, all these tiles. This is all the stuff I have installed on here. Let's go over the summer applications I have on here. I have iTunes, Internet Explorer, it's Internet Explorer 12. Some of the pictures I took, follows, games, which I don't use, music, Skype, Windows Mail Player, Mail, and all sorts of stuff. Okay, here's some more stuff here Rhapsody, Fresh Paint, PC settings. It's pretty different from the Windows 7 control panel. You can see that. It's, this is not your hours with Windows control panel. It has seen so a lot. That's what many people don't like about Windows 8. The control panel is so confusing. With Microsoft, so it's after like it was before, not since to this. Second, you can get out of panel open. There it is. This is very confusing. Has source, source, start, devices, and settings. There's a start button with press to, to go back to the start screen. See, I got a desktop icon there so you can go to a desktop icon like Windows 7. See, that's, that looks a lot more like Windows 7. I just crap open here the closest program. When so now that we're at the desktop. See I got quite icons on here. Got Google Docs, Google Sheets, Google Sites, Google Drive, WinZip, 
I will, you know what it is? It's a program you use to unzip zip files. I can use my set of Firefox. And some music in Rhapsody. And there's a lot of icons on the taskbar. Here's the background, which is a cat. I found this online. This thing probably was already somewhere around October of last year. So it's pretty new. I've done so many cool features. And I think I will recommend this chart to anybody because of the cool features that it does and it's, it's good for what it is. If anybody wants a Windows tablet, I think this is a this is a perfect source. But some things bad about it are there's no USB port on it. If you want to find USB devices, you have to buy a USB host adapter was already bought. I'm still waiting on it. Another thing bad about this is. It doesn't support file transfer to USB, so if you want to transfer files from your computer, you can't do that. It doesn't support that. On top, we have a webcam. Hewitt Packer. That stands for HP. That's what HP stands for. Okay, let's take a look at the back now. I put a camera down for one minute, I'll take off the case. Let's take this case off. Let's open it. Take a quick on the app and open it. It's kind of hard to take off. I'm not breaking it. Alright, there we go. We just got out of the case in. Let's take a look at the back of it. Here's the back. We had an HP logo, dot camera, screen 7, Intel. This thing has an Intel Atom processor. Here's some more information here about, about the tablet. A you will listing symbol. You see that on a, on a lot of stuff. See this is plastic, it's not metal. It makes a few makes a few kind of shapes so it would have been better if they made it out of metal, that way it would feel much better. More good quality, but it's, they just made the color of the plastic. The only part about it is always the middle of the metal is the frame. The frame is the only thing made out of the metal. So off the back, and put back to the front of it. Oops, I'm sorry, open the clock up and uh. In the next four, just close it or add it. It has this beautiful screen. There's, there's not any other tablet out there with this kind of screen resolution. It has a really good screen resolution. I love for being an expensive tablet. See, these things usually go for $100. Brand new. No, this is not like the Microsoft Surface. This is way more expensive than this, and it has a USB port. 
Margaret is hoping to go up to four or five hundred dollars. That's very, that's a lot of money. And how many people can afford such an expensive device? So people who want a uh, Windows based tablet, that HP Screen Seven is a perfect one for them. They can do about anything here. That they can do on the big computer. They can listen to music, check email, surf the web. It's so many other stuff. So that's my video on my HP Screen Seven tablet. Hope you like it. Look forward for more videos and subscribe.